Hey guys, Craig C96 here. So, quick disclosure before the start of this. Um, so this was a one of those Microsoft scam phone calls saying my computer is sending them signals that I received a couple days ago at this point. Uh, I haven't sat down to edit it yet. But the disclosure I need to make is because I live in Massachusetts, which is a two-party consent state for recording, recording phone calls, I just want to make it fully known that prior to the start of the video, I asked this gentleman if I could record the phone call for sake of having the information that he was talking about later on. He agreed. I cannot include the part of me asking for consent because prior to my asking for consent, it was illegal for me to be recording that conversation. Therefore, recording of the conversation did not happen until after consent was given. Just wanted to get out the disclosure that yes, I did get consent and no, I do not have consent recorded because of the fact that it is illegal to record the act of getting consent to record the phone call. So I wanted to make sure my legal bases were covered. All right, and now that we've gotten the full disclosure out of the way, hey guys, Greg C96 y'all. Today, bringing you a fun video. I did some audio and screen recording of a phone call I got the other day from one of those Microsoft scam centers. So prior to this, I had received a call um, and that call lasted for about half an hour. None of that was recorded. Um, that was just basically, I was pretending to do what they were saying and just pretending that it wasn't working. Um, so then I asked, you know, hey, my dinner's burning on the stove. Would you guys be able to call me back in half an hour? Which they were more than agreeable to, so they called me back half an hour later. But in that half an hour, I was not fixing my burning dinner. No, no, no. I was setting up a virtual machine on my MacBook. Um, to let them have some fun and think they were getting a customer waste their time so that they couldn't potentially scam someone else who wasn't aware of the scam. Um, as I said in the full disclaimer, I did get their consent before I started recording. I said, hey, can I record this for sake of me having the information we talked about? And they said, yeah, sure. So the recording commenced and that is what you were about to see. I am going to show you the fun I let them have and also the dangers of these type of phone calls if you let them actually do something because as it turns out um they went right for not a credit card number no 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 they went right for my bank account number and my routing number um so uh yeah enjoy me messing with the scammer check it out jump cut can you hear me sir yes i can Okay, now, uh, is this a good time to talk to you now? Yeah, t now it's fine. Alright, so are you sitting in front of the computer? Yeah, so so when I restarted it, it got rid of that thing we did. So could you just walk me through those steps again? <laughs> okay, let me tell you once again. Yep. You have to, you have to just uh, open up a Safari page for me and type in there the fastsupport.com thing. Yep. And I, I, I'm there, I just need that support key. Let me give it a support key once again. Yep. Okay. Hold on. Okay. The support key is 155-339-818. So 155-339-818? Yeah. Okay. And then click continue? Yes. It just says it's running the security scan, and as soon as it finishes that, okay, now I can click run. Yep. Alright, so it says like a Citrix online launcher. Yes. Okay, I just muted him real quick. He sounds super not interested at this point. I've already wasted half an hour of his time. People join session. Okay, yep. Yeah. Your name is Paul Nixon, right? Yes. Okay. Hang on. 
Yeah, the fir that first guy who called me had the wrong name, too. Yeah, Vegas. Alright. This is your Windows computer. Yes, that's what we were talking about. No, you told us that you have a Mac computer. I, I, did I? Do you have any Mac computer? No, this is my only computer. I, I, I must have gotten confused. I'm not really good with computers. Before that, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm opening the Safari page. Yeah, yeah, I, I use Safari on my Windows computer. Because right. uh, someone told me that Safari is better than Edge. Okay, where is the Safari? Can you confirm me that? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, try to just open it up again. It should be under all my apps. That's weird, it was there a minute ago. It said Safari right here, right above, um, Scan. And I clicked on it and I opened it. Can you check it to where is that Safari? Yeah, sure. That's weird, I was just using it. I'm just as confused as you are. I, I, it's what I just ran it with. Do you think it could have been the hack? Do you think it could be the hackers, maybe? I need to find out. Okay. Do you watch porn movies or videos? I, uh, from time to time. I mean, from time to time I do, not regularly. Yeah, my computer's kind of slow. It's kind of old. There's, there's no videos in that folder. All the videos I get are online. That those are just those are some just some photos. That's it, right? Yeah, but the the videos are online. I don't I don't have any videos on the computer. I use like uh, I I use like Pornhub. All right, just close this. Close it. Okay. So, so what is it that you just did? It's a scan of your whole computer. Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was that much on there. It's a, sir, that's the infections which is coming on your computer. Oh, okay. Oh, true online. And how old is this computer? Oh, probably about like five or six years old. All right. And are you planning to buy a new computer? I'm, 
I don't know. I don't really have the money to buy a new one right now. I want to, but I can't afford it. Yeah, because this computer is infected by malicious file. Okay. If you will keep using this computer as it is, so it might be possible that you will be losing your pictures, your photos, or your videos, whatever you have on this computer. Okay. And the hackers, they can go ahead and easily hijack your information without your permission. Okay. Right. I mean, is there like so, any sort of cheaper solution than buying a new computer? Yeah, yes, sir. If you are going to buy a new computer, if you are going to planning of planning to buy a new computer, on that time that's not the solution. Why? The hackers they already got your information, your IP address. Okay. So whenever you are going to whenever you are going to purchase a new computer, they can go ahead and get into your brand new computer as well. Oh, they can. Yeah, they so, can. So what do I do then? This pro this pro you have to protect this computer first of all. Okay. So that whatever whatever device, we will go ahead and make it fix this computer. Okay. And so that the illegal infection is not going to be come up again and again on this computer. Okay. And uh, if you want to buy any computer, then you can buy. Otherwise, you can use this computer as much as you want. Okay. As long as you want. Okay. Right. Can so, you see what's come up on your screen? Yeah, it says corrosion is found windows at risk. So this thing is going on. Let me check how many infection is there. Okay. Can you click on computer management? The on the right or on the left? Click on that. Which one though? It says computer management on the left and it says it on the right. On the left. Okay. That's okay. Yep. No, don't touch anywhere. Okay. I'm doing it for you. Okay. This is probably where it gets good. So, like, will cleaning this one up, will that make the computer faster, too? Yes, sir. So is this like a pretty common thing that happens, or does this happen a lot? No, it's not the common thing, you know, why this thing is happening. Like, you know, so many people are using like social networking websites, mm -hmm. watching movies, games, and videos online, like some kind of porn videos or something like that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it happens, some kind of illegal file is entered into your computer. Oh, okay. Once that file is entered into your computer, so that the hacker can go ahead and try to hijack your information and once they hijack that then on that time if they are doing any illegal thing on that point of time you are going to be responsible everything is come up by your name okay so is that what that thing that the it came up and it called it the, the trojan is that that thing yes the trojan file okay You know, the infection is loading right now. Can you see the action is loading? Yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah, it's kind of, it's got like the green bar moving across it. Mm -hmm. Now, can you see how many living infections is there? Oh, wow, those are all infections? Yes, sir, you can see the error and warning reports. Oh, that's not good. It's very bad for your computer, sir. Mm -hmm. It's eating your services day by day. It's making your computer very slow. Okay. That is why your computer is running very slow. It's taking a lot of time to open something. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And uh, whenever anybody is trying to hijack your computer, due to that illegal infection, the hacker, they can go ahead and hijack that. Okay. So it should be removed on your computer so as soon as possible. Okay. Then we will go ahead and make it your computer as a new one, right? Yep. So just let me know, so you want me to fix this problem or you want to leave it as it is? What do you want to do? I mean, now? yeah, I'd like to fix the problem. 
I have to install the security for you, sir, on that point of time. I have to assign a technician for you. Okay. All right. And how long do you want to use this computer now? I mean, I, I like to use it for as long as I can. Yeah, because I have three security for you, the one year, two year, or the five year. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't think this computer will last five years, so I guess maybe go with like the one year then? <laughs> no problem. Because uh, the security which you are going to get, it's not like that, uh, you know, uh, the one year, three or five year. Mm -hmm. Between five year or between three year, if you are going to purchase any new computer, we will go ahead and easily transfer the same security into your new computer as well. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, so that everything is booked upon that point of time. Gotcha. So, uh, the, the one year security, it would it would be, you know, it would going to cost you... One seventy nine dollar per ninety nine cent. Okay. The one year one, and the three year one it would be two eighty nine dollar per ninety nine cent. Okay. And the five year it would be three ninety nine dollar per ninety nine cent. Okay. And it depends up to you like how long you want to use that for coming one year, three year, or the five year. And, and you said I can Which transfer to a new computer if I decide to get one. Absolutely right. So whenever you are going to buy a new computer. I will go ahead and easily transfer into your new computer as well. Okay. Because so that that would be registered by your name. Okay. All right? Gotcha. So which one do you want me to install it right now? I I think three years. The three year one. Yeah, I think the three year Not one is issue. best. Not an issue, so I will go ahead and install it for you. Okay. And the make sure make sure that's the security which I'm giving you right now. Do not share the product ID key or do not try to, you know, load it by yourself, right? Okay. Yeah. If you need if you need to install that security from another computer, then call me back. Okay. I will install it for you, right? Yep. Because there is some kind of way to install that security. Uh, might be possible some customer, they understand and some of the people, they don't understand how to install it. If yep. they are trying to install automatically by yourself then uh, there is some kind of file is going to be missing on that time okay right so no problem i'm going to start work on the computer right now just give me one moment sure just hold on yep hold on hold on Bando, thanks for calling give me one second It's a shame. Either people are actually calling them back for help, or they're actually having people call them in fake, pretending to be customers so they can pretend they have other customer calls so that they can seem legit. Either way, it's sad. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. All right, just give me one moment. I'm going to create the invoice for you, right? Okay. Hold on. Yep. Give me, give me one moment. Sure. All right, so I muted him again real quick. Um, so basically the Windows activity log, this does not talk about viruses. He's in application right now. These are just warnings from applications that are not running correctly. The reason I have so many warnings is I cloned over uh, another virtual machine hard drive. And because of the fact I cloned over the other virtual machine hard drive, a bunch of things got messed up. Um, and a lot of those warnings are like from the Windows 10 update I just did on this thing yesterday, because yesterday was the last day to do Windows 10 for free. So these warnings do not actually mean viruses. And that scan he ran, where it said the thing about the Windows Trojan, there is no Trojan on this computer. It is a fresh, basically a super fresh Windows install. So he was lying to us, trying to manipulate us. But uh, we'll see where else this goes. I've, in my head, I have written down and made up a fake credit card number so I can be accurate when using it, because they're going to ask me to pay. So let's see now. see how long he makes us wait. He's making the invoice. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you for holding the line. Yeah, no problem. 
Yeah, I, I see that. Yep, I, I see the screen number there. Alright. So, so how much was it for? For the three year? Yeah, $289 per Okay, and then I just have to fill this out? Yep, you have to fill up this by yourself. Okay. Write down your name over there at the top. Yep. I have to just go get that bank information. So give me just one second, okay? All right. I actually have to make a fake bank account number because I was expecting them to ask for a credit card, not this kind of devious bullshit. Okay, I'm back. I just have to put those numbers in. Yep. And for the confirm account, does that want, which one does it want? Does that want the routing or the account number? Uh, the first one is for the routing number. Yep. And second one is the account number and the uh, confirm the account number. Oh, okay, so the account number, got it. Okay. Is, is there anything did missing? Did you confirm it? Yep, I did. Is there anything missing? Let me check. So the routing number, it would be the nine digit number. Oh, I, I, I missed the last number. It didn't type in. Alright. Let me check. You can confirm the account number as well. Is that correct or not? Yep, that's correct. No, I mean to say the routing number. That would be that routing number. The first one. Yeah. It, it will be the nine digit number. What's the number? Can you confirm it? Yeah, it's the one seven 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 three eight nine two one. Nine two one, right? Yeah. And uh, you need to you just put the three years computer protection, right? Yes. Yeah, you need to just remove it and type in there computer software support. Oh, okay. Computer software support. Okay. Computer software and support. Oh, and support, okay. Yep. Okay. Very good. And write down the check number. At the top you can see there is there is a check number. 
uh, it just it just says check number. So do I just put one in or? Yep. You, you need to type in there the check number. Where's the check number? At the top left hand side. Okay, so that's right the, that's the next one in my book. So do I just click pay? Give me one moment, sir. Okay. Because the internet is internet is not working from my end. The internet is working from your side. Okay. Yeah. You need to just write down the yeah. It's zero one seven. This is the check number, right? Yeah. Hold on. And make sure that sir, do not you know uh, make sure that. Uh, did uh, you just uh, write down the name which is appear in your uh, statement which is a uh, dial port solution LLC dial port solution LLC okay did you write down uh, I'm writing it right now what, what's all that yelling in the background no nah, they in my company so many people are working over there that's why oh okay now it's okay now. Yep, I wrote it down. No, you didn't. You didn't put the phone number, the telephone number. Can oh, you see? yep. I'm sorry, I missed that. No problem. No problem. Okay. That's the number, which is. <laughs> This is your cell phone number or home phone number? Uh, th this is my cell phone number. The one I put down is the one that's attached to my bank account. Okay, okay. It's 798 yep. 544 mm -hmm. 3847, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, one more thing, sir. Like, you know, uh, the name which is appear on your bank. Mm -hmm. That's the name which is Paul Nixon, or there is any middle initial name or something like that. Oh, no. All right. That's the middle initial in your bank, right? Yes. Okay. Now, give me one moment. Can you just scroll down your cursor? Then you will be getting... Scroll it down your cursor. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Okay, I scrolled down. Okay, write down your email address over there. No. Oh. So that you will be getting you so that you will be getting the receipt. I, I don't need the receipt, that's fine. It says optional. I don't need a receipt. I, I have my checkbook stuff. No, that's for your receipt. That's yeah, I, I know I, I don't need a receipt, that's fine. <laughs> you don't need the receipt? Nah, it's fine. I the checkbook stub is good enough. I have the uh, company name and all that stuff. So okay, but uh, there is no problem, sir, from my side. Uh, but you know, for the confirmation, because you know we are going to protect you all of our, your identity, your email address and all uh, and everything. Okay. So that make sure that. Okay, uh, I'll put that in. Can, uh, that, okay, that's good for you, sir. All right, so is there anything else I need to put in? No, sir, that's okay. Yes, sir. Uh, did you put hotmail.com? Yes. You will be, then you can see the pay option. Click on pay. Okay. And then do I just need to type that in? So I just need to type that in, right? Uh, let me check. What is that? Let 
Let me scroll it. Yeah, two to one. Very good. Okay. Click on submit. Okay. Click on submit. What does that mean? The routing number did not match. But how could that be? That's that's the routing number on my check. Well, that's the one my bank gave me. The format of the routing number. So, what do you want? You want to on continue? Okay. So, so what's that? Let me ask to my senior manager, right? Can you just give me only one moment? Yeah, no problem. You've been really patient. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really appreciate for your documentation as well, sir. Thank you. Hold on. Okay. So, of course it failed, because that was a made-up routing number, a made-up checking account number, made-up phone number, made-up address, made-up name. <laughs> so, of course it didn't go through. So, let's see how it goes with the manager. And that I've already wasted 40 minutes of this guy's time. <laughs> Seriously, guys, no legitimate company is going to call you. You can see what they're going to try to do. They're trying to get me to give them my routing and checking account number so they can just have free access to all the money in my bank. That's what they want. Don't give it to them. Don't be the next victim of identity theft because of these people. The only piece of information they have about me is they had my name and my phone number because the two are tied together and that's basically you can google search that type of stuff um but i've already thrown him off the trail by throwing in a fake phone number and a fake name and telling them that they just have the wrong information so basically they know my name and my phone number and now i know a number from them so the first one they called me from was a blocked caller id and now i have their phone number so I'm going to be reporting this phone number at the end of it. So they're getting reported, but I'm having some fun first. First phone call, I wasted half an hour of their time, and then I said my dinner was burning. So the first phone call, I was just pretending to do the things, and pretending my computer was super slow. Then I said my dinner was burning, but they called me back in half an hour. So I went and I ate dinner, quote unquote, while I actually I was setting up this virtual machine. And setting up like the totally not. Uh, Are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. All right, thank you. Oh. Yeah, what I'm going to do, sir, I'm going to put the same information, same check number, what again? Okay. And let's see. Let's see if it's the ad is not coming right now, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
No, it still doesn't want to take it. Okay, I won't. Let me see this message to my senior officer. So can you just give me on one moment? Sir? Sure, really and actually, I'm, I'm just going to mute my end for a minute, too. I just have to go use the restroom. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that. You know, okay. I'm taking you so much time. Can you give me some more time? All right, hold on. So guys, I legitimately actually have to go to the bathroom. That's how long we've been on this call. Just hit 45 minutes. Thank you for holding the line for your admin patient. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. All right, I'm really, very really sorry for that, sir, that I'm, you know, taking so much time from yours. I don't know, sir, why the routing number it says it's invalid. Okay, uh, might be possible, like, you know, there is some kind of problem from our side or from your side, I don't know why. Um, okay. I need to go ahead. I need to go ahead and look into that. But uh, if you can go ahead and pay with your card, that's okay as well. Like you, know, you can use any of your card, like your debit card. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Ahead. I can use a card. Yes. Thanks, sir. I'm going to send you the receipt. I'm going to send you the invoice in your email address. Okay. But go ahead and you can uh, submit it, your information, you can pay it by yourself, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm not going to charge it through your check, right? Okay. Yep. Because it is it's invalid, right? I'm sorry? Because it says it's invalid. What? It says it's in because because it says it, your routing number is invalid. That's why yeah. I'm not going to charge you with your with your uh, account, right? Okay. Just could you pull up your real address so that I can go ahead and send you the information? Um, sure. Yeah, I can pull that up. Yeah, give me, uh, just, I gotta... No problem, take it there. I just gotta get to the email and all that stuff, so... Just make sure I entered that right. Mm -hmm. I just I have a little book that has all my stuff in it. I just gotta go get it. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be back in just a moment. No problem. Actually, I have to really quickly create a freaking Hotmail account to keep up this lie. Okay, I got my book. I figured out what the problem is. All right. So it turns out I just got confused. It's at Gmail, it's not Hotmail. Oh. So I think that means you'll have to resend the um, email to me. Alright. I'm sorry about that. No problem, so no problem. I'll just have to sign in really quick. <laughs> All right, can, can you see the appropriate email on the screen right now? That's the email. Yeah. Paul D. Nixon, 74, right? Yes. Then click on content.
Okay. So, did you send the email? Is it the member thing there? The you've got a money yep. request? Yep. Okay. Then I just click pay now? Wait, so, so I thought it was going to um, dial port solution. What's this Bina Devi? So, that's the name of the merchant. Oh, right? okay. And that's the, that's, that's the technician which I'm going to assign you. Oh, okay. Right? And she's the manager of our company. There is no issue. Oh, okay. That's fine then. I was just curious. Yep. <laughs> no problem. Let me go ahead and make it quick. Yep, sorry, my, my computer's just being kind of slow. Alright. Mm, it's kind of frozen up, it's not letting me click. Click on the country, click yeah. on the country and put your United States. Well, yep, yeah, it's, it's just catching up. It's incorrect. That, that's the one right on my card. No, the, the starting number is 88. It should be 5 or 4. Oh, yep. It looks like I did read that right. It's a, wrong. It's a 4. I guess the card's just a little worn out. Yeah, that's, that's the address. That's what all my mail comes to. So what does that mean? Because I put the number that's right on my card. Yeah, you have entered an invalid number or partial credit card or debit card. Please check your entry and try again. So should I just try again then? Yep. And the CSC is 974. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Sure. I wonder when he starts to get frustrated. <laughs> Your card number is incorrect, sir. The card number which you are putting in there, it's incorrect. That's that's the number right on my card. But it says it's incorrect. Well, why would that it's be? Four eight, it says 4873-4401-4. Seven seven eight eight, right? Yeah, that's the one right on the card. It's incorrect. Just look into your card once again. Uh, it says it says incorrect. Okay, let's see. All right, so it's 
four, eight, seven, three, four, four, zero, one, one, zero, six, six. It's 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 four 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 zero one. Can we? Oh, whoops. Oh. Zero one one zero six six seven seven eight eight. So then. No, just give me one second. Yeah, sure. Give me one second. Yeah. Let me show you on the let me show you on the computer screen. Okay. That's a lot of new tabs he opened. He just Googled for a credit card checker. That's fantastic. Are, are you still there, sir? www. Mhm. Mm valid. V A L I D. Valid. Okay. Credit card. C R E D I T. Credit card number. dot com. Then click on search. It. And put your put your number here. Can you see what it says? The card number is incorrect. But why would it say that? That's the number right on my card. You can see right inside the credit card number you entered failed. Yeah, I see that, but that's the number right on my card, so I, I don't understand. I don't know, like, but it says the card number is incorrect or invalid. Hmm. You can see, you provide me. Yeah, a I, I see that right number. there. The routing number, it's incorrect. You provide me a card number, it's incorrect. So, it's not going to be happen now, right now. I guess not, yeah. That's... Okay. Yeah. So just let me know so how you can pay that, sir. Because your card number is incorrect and your... Uh, account number is not working right now because your routing number is not good. Yeah, so that's... What do we do? That's weird. I don't know. Um. Okay, do one thing. Just call to your bank. Okay. Okay? Call to your bank right now and ask them what is my routing number. Okay. The routing number and your account and your account number. Once you get that account number and the routing number, then call me back, right? Actually, wait. I, I have my number. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can yeah. do that. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to hang up the call right now. You can do that right now. Grab a pen and paper. They're gonna provide you the routing number and okay. they're gonna provide you the account number, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to put the phone down right now. Okay. So can I, uh, I can call you back after uh, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or when, when can I call you back? Um, can, can I just call you back at the number that's on my phone right now? Yes, 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 you can call me on that number as well, right? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh my god. <laughs> This is glorious. I have tied up a total of almost two hours of this guy's time, and it's still going to keep going. Oh, man. I think I'm going to call him back at that number and break, let him down easy and just kind of let him know that, you know, you're, you're on an informational internet video about the dangers of computer scams, and you can say hello to the internet of my laptop recording but now i'm recording up here as well with this camera just to get the little end part so where we left off the guy told me to call my bank to get my routing information 
so I'm calling him back. And this phone number is going to get blocked from my phone, by the way. person you are trying to reach. It's on the phone. Leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Ha. Well, he's calling back. Hello, Richard? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, so I, I called my bank and um, I told them what was going on and that my, it was saying that my routing number was wrong and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and they told me what I should tell you is that I should tell you to say hello to the educational video about the dangers of computer scammers in the 21st century and that this has been very informative about what happens if you let scammers into your computer and try or allow them to get access to your bank information. They told me I should tell you to say hello. Sir, do you know what is the meaning of a scam? Yes, I do know what the meaning of a scam is. And that's using tools in my computer, misrepresenting them to try to tell me I have viruses and malware on my machine, and then trying to get my banking information for fake virus protection software. That is what the meaning so of a scam if is. If you want my bank number, if you want my account number, you can write it down. With my permission, you cannot do anything wrong. You're not living any kind of tax piracy country, sir. You are living in the United States of America. If somebody is doing anything illegal with your bank information or with your routing number or your account number, on that point of time, you are not going to be responsible. The Correct, people, but there is going, still the problem of identity theft and the fact that as no. soon as you get that information, you do have access to the bank account until that person realizes that something is going on or the bank realizes there's fraudulent charges going on. Sir, the bank, they are going to help you. Right? On that time, you are not going to face any kind of problem. The hacker, they block, they hijack your bank information or, or they get something from your bank, they are going to be in a very trouble. Not sure. you. I, I, you, will be getting, you will be getting your money, whatever you, uh, they have charged you from your side. They're going to get it back from your bank. Okay? Yep. What, whatever no, helps you no, sleep at no. night, sir. I only hope that by wasting these past two hours of your time, I've saved some other people from falling victim to this. So do one thing okay, with your debit card or credit card. If you really want me to fix the problem, you can pay it cash. Right? If you don't want to fix it through your card or through your bank information, no problem. You can go ahead and get a, a gift card into the market. Or you can pay through the cash if you want to do, right? Sir, I, I, go ahead. Sir, there is nothing okay. wrong with this computer. You've tried to falsely make me think something is wrong with this computer. This is a freshly installed version of Windows 10. Right away, freshly installed on this virtual machine. So you can't do anything to this computer. There's nothing wrong with this computer. Um, like I said, I just hope in wasting your time, I've saved someone else from falling into right. this. Okay, goodbye. Have goodbye. a good one. And then I uh, close out the virtual machine, and they cannot wreak any havoc. I'm surprised they didn't try to, like, do anything. I'm surprised they didn't try to do anything there. Typically what they try to do is they try to start wreaking havoc on your computer, and that didn't happen. So, uh, yeah. Whoop, and Windows 8.1 clone is gone. Uh, let me just take a look at Movavi real quick. Uh, this is the little clone operating system I made. Let me go ahead and just delete that forever. And that's it. And then last thing I got to do is just take this right here and um, just block that collar. And they're blocked. So I'm not going to get a call back again, and I now have their phone number to report to the police. Because what they're doing is illegal. Guys, remember, no legitimate companies, never, ever, ever, is a legitimate company going to come to you 
and give you a call to say that something is wrong with your machine. If you're getting phone calls saying something is wrong with your machine, it's a scam. It's going to be a scam. It's always a scam. Microsoft doesn't call you. Apple doesn't call you. Windows doesn't call you. Dell doesn't call you. Lenovo doesn't call you. Um, Norton doesn't call you to say something is wrong with your computer. It doesn't happen. If you ever get that call, hang up. Block the number. You saw they were very persistent. They were trying to get me to do like a Western Union cash order. Send them a gift card. Send them my routing information. Send them my credit card number. And then when I called them out on being a scam, they decided that they were going to try to logic me into a corner to say that it's not a scam. While yes, I would have been able to get any of that money back, they still had access to my routing information. That's the starting point for identity theft. That's one of the ways to start with identity theft. Just be careful on the internet, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of me wasting two hours of this guy's time, uh, hopefully saving some other people. It's probably been a long video, even though I skipped over the boring parts and just fast-forwarded them. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about all I have to say. Like it if you liked it, because how couldn't you like it? Dislike it if for some reason you're actually on the scam group side. Uh, once again, I don't know how you could be. Um, subscribe. Do the things. Go to bigboxgamers.com. Check out the other guys. See you in the next one. It'll be a normal video again, I swear. Peace. That is all.